Hi, I'm Wani from Rising. Today I'm going to show you how to make a connection to PEX tubing using our press fittings. To make a press connection, you will need a PEX press tool and press fittings. This type of press fitting comes with the sleeves already attached. You can save the trouble of buying the sleeves separately unlike you buy cream rings or stainless steel clamps for cream fittings. After you make a clean 90 degree cut with your PEX tubing cutter, insert the fitting with the sleeve onto the tubing. And I just want to point out that these little holes are meant to let you know that if the fitting is completely inserted to the end, which is very important. Then use the press tool of the corresponding size to press your fitting. This tubing and fitting are half inch, so you would use the half inch tool. Place the drawers squarely over the sleeve and squeeze all the way down until there's no more room to go. Then you just release the tool. Our press tool incorporates a ratcheting mechanism. If the sleeve is not completely squeezed, you cannot open the handles. Now you can see there are two grooves on the sleeve after it's pressed. The pressing area of the sleeve is larger than that of the copper rings or stainless steel clamps which makes the pressing tighter and safer. Another big positive of this fitting is when you insert the press fitting on the pipe. The sleeve stays there, but if you use cream rings or stainless steel clamps, you need to make sure you place them on the right place, or there is a leakage risk. This is a requirement from ASTM standard for fitting size 3 8 inch to 1 inch. The edge of the cream ring or stainless steel clamp should be 1 8 inch to a quarter inch from the end of the tubing. So you either judge by experience or measure by a tape. It's risky and inconvenient. Besides using hand tool, battery power tool is another option. Same installation procedures but more labor saving. You can buy rigid or Milwaukee power tool from the market. Now let's see how they do the job. Cut the pipe, insert the fitting. Place the drawers squarely over the sleeve. Hold tool securely, press and hold the trigger. Once engaged, the tool automatically completes its cycle. Release the trigger when the cycle is complete and the tool will shut off. Thank you for watching. For more information, please visit www.rifen.com or send email to overseas at rifen.com.